There are over 400 pieces in the collection. It was started in uh, 1940 by Ellen Johnson, who uh, had a very long and wonderful career here. Many of the pieces are, are contemporary artworks, and many of them came from artists that she knew. The day before the art rental, uh, three or four of us start bringing the pieces out. We set them out all around the four hallways of the Ripping Gallery. Because there are 400 and some pieces, um, we end up stacking them usually three deep. And so students have to, you know, they have to look through and find things behind or in the middle. And, you know, it's just been fun to, to see how excited the students get because they've camped out overnight to get in line. It's a first come, first serve basis. The first, you know, 20 or 30 who, who come through that door, they know exactly what they want, you know, so there's a, there's a bit of this uh, frenzy to, to find it. And, and then when they do find it, and they come through uh, to check out where we, we wrap everything up. They're so happy and, and they keep thanking us, you know, that they, they were able to get the Matisse or the Picasso or whatever it was they were trying to find. I've learned uh, a bit from the, the whole experience, a bit more about art. And I think the students learn a tremendous amount because they get to, um, you know, keep these pieces for a semester and their, their friends see them and they see other friends' um, artwork on the wall. I love working with the art. As assistant, I don't have to be worried so much about budgets and paperwork, and, but I actually get to um, you know, take care of the art and try to preserve it um, so that you know, it's still around 100 years from now and, and people are able to enjoy it.